What is up, Prime? Snaithonus here, back with perhaps a really not good news. No, it's really not good news. And please excuse my hair, I literally just woke up, okay? So last night, while I was playing games with my friends online, I decided to look at YouTube, and... I saw a post from Optobotamus, and it had a picture of Black Panther's arms crossed, and it said Rip King, you know, and I saw the comments, Wakanda forever, and I'm like, well that's awfully cryptic, so I looked it up, and you may or may not have already known about this, but in case you haven't, Chadwick Boseman, the actor who plays Black Panther, passed away yesterday, and really it was quite trippy because it was like, I was thinking to myself, he was only alive a few hours ago, you know? So, just goes to show that you can truly be alive one minute and then gone the next, and it's really scary. So, some of you may not know this, but he was actually battling colon cancer for four years. Four years, that... That's insane. Like, I get that some people have survived with cancer longer, but... Colon cancer? For four years? That, that, that is incredible. They managed to last as long as he did. But what's even weirder is that he was diagnosed with it when he was 39. If he died when he was 43, then he was diagnosed with colon cancer when he was 39, which is awfully young. So could it happen to anybody? Who knows? But it's just a really scary thought. But, um, his passing really has me shaken up because, you may not know this, Chadwick Boseman was actually one of my favorite actors, and, you know, in a heartbeat, faster than I was able to blink, he was gone, and... It, it's left me confused, I have this feeling of actually being confused, like this doesn't make sense, but in the end it really does, because some of you may have seen his live stream that he did a few months ago, and he really did not look well, like he looked very scrawny, and he looked like his eyes were sunken in, and he just did not look well. And a lot of people assumed, well maybe it's a dieting problem, or maybe he's fasting too much, but... Let me tell you, if you're ever going through dieting or fasting, you will never look that scrawny. Especially not that fast. But, just, just to think about it, like, when I saw him in that state, I was just like, something is really not right with that man. Something... He, he, he needs medical attention, you know, like, I was extremely worried, and it turns out that I was worried for a great reason, like, it, it hit me as a surprise, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I was expecting that he wasn't well, I, I knew that he wasn't well, so as much of a shock as his death was to me, you know, I kind of knew something wasn't right. I honestly loved his movies. I can't remember any of the other ones, but I do remember, you know, Civil War, Black Panther, Infinity War, Endgame. And that scene in Endgame, where he's the first person to walk through Doctor Strange's portal, 
That, that means a whole lot more now. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but that, good on them, because that really worked out perfectly. Symbolism, right? But, um, as for the future Black Panther movies, we knew that the second Black Panther movie was in the works for some time now, but, uh, as for where it goes from here, who knows? Personally, what I think the story should be is T'Challa tries to reclaim the throne after the whole snap happens. You know, he's, he's trying to get it back because somebody else must have taken charge. And he gets killed in combat. Because they usually do that um, in order to fight for the throne. So he's got to go into combat with the person who's trying to take charge. And uh, he gets killed. And somebody else has to take the mantle of Black Panther. That's the way I think it should go. Because... Honestly, you can't have it any other way. The MCU isn't used to, you know, replacing actors for mainline characters. They don't do that. But, I don't know, it's just... Like, he was literally in a movie last year, and to know that he's gone now... 2020 can't get any worse. Like... Guys, this this is this is 2020 punishing us. This I don't know what what else to tell you. If something can go wrong in 2020, it will go wrong. But you know what else it goes to prove? Even fame can't make you invincible. Like if I become famous, I'm going to be extremely aware of that. No matter how famous you are, you're just as likely to pass on to the other side as somebody else. And, how? that just boggles my mind, I guess, because it's not often that somebody famous passes away. I mean, hell, it's Paul Walker all over again, you know? You know how people were so shocked by his death? Well, it's the same thing again. Only it's in 2020 and it hits harder. It's Black Panther and it hits harder. I, I just... My mind is spinning right now. I, like... I am in shock. I, I can't close my jaw. That's how shocked I am. And... You know... There's nothing we can do. There's nothing that I can say to make it better. There's nothing that... Like... There's nothing that I can do personally. The only way that I really have any power here is I'm wearing a black shirt. Because that was the Black Panther colors, is black, obviously. But I also want to throw in there that Black Lives Matter, and, you know, I'm pretty sure he would have been on board with that. In fact, I think I saw a post from him that spoke about it, but I'm not sure. So, my condolences go to his family, his friends, and I hope that he is in a better place, because we all know he deserves it. He, de he deserves better than the last few months of his life, that's for sure. Let me know how this hit you guys, and, um, you know, send your condolences. This is one video where I do not want anybody hating on each other, because it's just inappropriate. But I've seen all over Instagram, all over Facebook, people posting their, you know, condolences and stuff, and I... I it's overwhelming. It's really just incredible to see this many people rally together and, you know, say that this one man changed so many lives. And he did. 
you know? He may have just been some other actor, but all in all, like, he was in a killer movie, alright? That doesn't make him just some actor, that makes him one of the best there ever was. And, as I said, he was one of my favorites, so this hits really close to home. But yeah. Let me know how it hit you, and post your condolences if you want, because I feel that they need it, you know. I, I feel the, I feel his family needs it. But yeah. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.